I want to start off and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Bahashim, Rekah Kadash. I want to give another double honor to the apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations and blessings out there to you, sincere Akim, that's pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. This is the brother Malachi. And, you know, I'm going to make a short, uh, you know, short exhortation video, you know, uh, pertaining to the uh, 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 to the hopeful elect that is out there uh, across the four uh, corners of, of the earth. All right. And we see the different uh, things that's going on in the earth right now. We see the different prophecies. And right now we see another one that's that's hitting just currently with this pestilence going on. OK. And with this pestilence that's going on right now, we see that this is this 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 could really lead to something even bigger. OK, so now when you look at the pestilence that's going on in China and then we see that the, the, the deaths and, and the different uh, 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 um, cases that are going around and it's even spread it across to even over here in uh, Babylon the Great. So who knows, the most I can let this place just, it can just be flooded with pestilence, you know? So in, in, in the scriptures, the most high, he says that he's going to protect his elect. All right. So while we're going to see many people dying of hunger and famine, uh, 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 of pestilence, we're going to see this economy going down. We're going to see the reward of all the wickedness of this place and we're going to see it fall. OK, so it's just at the beginning stages of it. We're just at the beginning of sorrows. OK, so for the the newcomers of, of, of the ones that just that's just now coming into the fold, the ones that are just listening uh, uh, at, at they're listening to this video. So like, yeah. <laughs> sorry, it's early in the morning, but they're listening to this video. OK. Have uh, faith. Just know that Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, he's going to protect you. And the only reason why all these things are happening is because the Most High is shortening the days. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, some scriptures right quick. Okay. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21. It reads, For then shall be great tribulation. Such as not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. So it's not pertaining that this is the great tribulation, that this is Jacob's trouble, but this is a kickstart. This is the beginning of it. OK. Verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Right. So this is the most high. He's speeding up the times right now. OK, you can see the different prophecies, the different things that is going on. Everything that is said and everything that is written inside this book. It is coming to become true, which the words uh, so like the words that are in this book are faithful and true. They will happen. So let's read that again at verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So we see that the times are speeding up, that the days are being shortened. Because if it was not for uh, 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 the elect's sake, we will all be as Sodom and Gomorrah. We, 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 this, this place would just be forsaken. You understand? So the Most High have saved himself a great plant, a grape, uh, 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 a grape that is kept on the vine. OK, the cluster out of, out of a whole cluster of grapes, he's kept one grape and that's the elect. OK, so let's go ahead and jump into some scriptures. Uh, let's jump into the book of Isaiah 65. Let's start at verse 13. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. 
So this is going, the, the, the most I was talking to uh, at that time in the book of Isaiah, he's talking to the two thirds of Israel. All right. Because they forsook the law. They did not want to come and turn back from their wicked ways. And it's the same thing that you see in today's time. It's the men of the Lord, the prophets, the men of the Lord. Uh, we're doing the videos. We're out on the highways and byways. And we're telling our people the destruction that is coming. And they're still in this docile state that they don't even want to hear it. That they don't even care. But therefore, this is what the Most High is saying to them. Okay? Start, we're going to start at the top again. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And that's what's going to happen with, with two thirds of our people and the rest of the world that's out there. Because right now, the uh, the men of the Lord, the, the, the hopeful elect, the uh the women the so like the men women and children they're gonna be able to drink in that day when there is no water they're gonna be able to eat when there is no food and they're gonna be rejoicing because they're gonna be seeing that they uh, uh are gonna be protected in that day while the rest of the world will be ashamed because they forsook the most high they didn't want to know the most high they still like <clears throat> Salakia. <clears throat> they still wanted to uh be uh rebellious like like that reprobate little Boosie. He said, "Oh, I'm still gonna eat my pork." So he gonna be a hey, he gonna be very hungry in that day. If the Most High preserves him until that time, but you're gonna see a lot of our people. They're gonna be ashamed that they did not listen to the men of the Lord. All right, verse fourteen. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. It's letting you know these people, these two thirds of our people and, and also the rest of the world that is out there. But this is pertaining to two thirds of our people. <coughs> Salakia. My servants shall sing for joy of heart. They're going to be singing. They're going to be rejoicing, praising the Most High's name. The hopeful elect, the men that is out there. All right? The one, they're going to give reverence unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But while the rest, of the, re so like the rest of the world, the two-thirds, they're going to be crying for sorrow of heart. Why they going? You're gonna see them. They probably they probably gonna, they're gonna be so hungry, so thirsty. They're gonna be so bugged out. They're not gonna know what's going on. All the riches and everything that uh, that they possess in this world will be as not. They gotta see their children hunger. They're gonna be so hungry that their children are gonna just die off. Their children may die off off the pestilence. So many things is gonna uh, uh 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 come 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 coming to their mind that reality is gonna set in, and reality is gonna set in even more. Faith is gonna flourish even more through the elect men when exactly when they see uh, uh that they've been protected and they're gonna see many people fall by each side. Terror is gonna be on all their faces. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the book of Job, chapter five. And what maybe uh spark this uh this scripture is from the uh the brothers from the uh, Dallas camp, and I just made another whole lesson from off of it. <laughs> so this is the book of Job, chapter five, verse nineteen. <clears throat> it reads, "He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, and seven." There shall no evil touch thee. So it's not going to be no evil touching the elect men who, whom the men, so like whom the most high have, have deemed to um, have chosen. No evil shall touch them. Verse 20. In famine, <clears throat> he shall redeem thee from death. 
and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. So you're going to see while everything is going on in this world. <clears throat> you're going to see the elect men. All right. The hopeful elect. You're going to see these men. They're going to be rejoicing. They're going to be happy. They're going to be full. They're not going to be thirsty. All right. You're going to see them. They're going to be laughing at the destruction that is going on. You're going to be laughing at little children getting eaten by by probably lions. Um, we're going to see the, the women. They, we're going <laughs> to we're going to see the women, all the ones that's walking around proud. They, the ones that's walking in their high heels, their proud look. We're going to see them. They're going to have no makeup. They're going to look all busted. They're going to have blood all across their uh, clothes. They're not going to be taken care of. They're going to be dirty. They're going to be stinking. You're going to see Esau at his lowest. He's going to be he's going to be at his very low. You're going to see uh, 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 Edomites just they just going to be offing themselves. They're going to have guns. They're just going to off themselves. You're going to see so we're going to see so much destruction. All right. We're going to see the pestilence. We're going to see people just dropping dead like flies. So much destruction is coming. But the elect men, what are they going to be doing? At the, at st I'm going to start by, at the top again. It says, Job 5.22, At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. We're going to laugh at these people. All right? And it says, Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Just like I said earlier with the lions eating up the little children or the alligators eating up the children. We're, not, we're, going, to be in, we're going to be in alliance with the beasts of the earth. We're going to be protected in that day, Lord willing. All right. So the elect men, they have they, 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 they've been preserved from the very beginning that none of these things is going to come uh, near them. OK, so this is uh, Psalm chapter 91, verse three. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because in that time, this is a, 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 when you read the uh, scriptures in 2 Ezra chapter 16, it says, Then shall it be known who are my chosen. You're going to know that these men have been chosen. These men are going to be protected. All right. These men, uh, 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 women and children, you're going to see them. All right. They're going to be protected in that day. Why? Because they're going to have the truth. Their mind is going to be stable. When you read the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse six, um, it says wisdom and uh, Salakia. It says <laughs> Salakia. Wisdom and uh Knowledge, knowledge and wisdom uh, shall be the stability of thy times and uh, 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 strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. So you got to have the, the fear of the Lord on you. All right. In order for you uh, 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 to, uh, to, to, to keep enduring until the end. Because if you lose faith at the end, your 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 uh, your strength was small. OK. Verse uh, five, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. So many things is going to be going on, man. So much terror, but it's not going to come near the elect men. All right. Verse six, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So right now, the pestilence is walking in darkness right now. No one knows where it, it, it well, they have an inclination of where it started from. But they don't know where it is. It's like it's like it's hidden. And right now it's in darkness. 
And that's how you see so many people are just dying from off of it. It's airborne and it's people touching each other. Different things over there, uh, over there in China, they, they, they have been quarantined. The whole section off over there, how is it they able to quarantine that many people off that quick? This is the most highest movie. He's making his moves right here, uh, right now, Salakia, so that he can deliver his elect. As I read earlier, that the do- uh, that the days be shortened. Okay, so verse six: <clears throat> Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Verse seven: A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Let's read that again. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. The noisome pestilence, the pestilence, the death, the famine, the hunger, uh, 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 the thirst. You not bugging out, you being stable. All of that is not going to come nigh thee. You're going to see people just fall by the side. Thousands. You're going to see, you're going to witness great death. And in that meantime of you seeing that great death, as the scripture says, the last one that I just read, uh, the last chapter in Job, the servants are going to, they're going to laugh at the destruction. Verse eight, only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And that's what the men of the Lord are going to see. The reward of the wicked. Okay. Verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil Befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. So we're going to be protected by the angels. We're going to be protected, man. Lord willing, we are of that number. And through faith that we feel that we are. All right. But the rest of the two thirds, they got no cloak for their sins. They're just they're they they they're, they're gonna be bugged out. You're gonna see many of our people. They're just gonna take the sword and just off themselves. They they're not gonna make it. Esau, man, they they definitely not gonna make it, man. I don't know how they're gonna make it in the kingdom. All right, but all these things are for the elect sake. All right, the days are being shortened. So here's uh, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. Why? Because we've been scattered. And that's a part of the curses. You can read that in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. We've been scattered into all the four corners of the earth. Okay. It says, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear, Salakia, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. Right. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. All right. Verse 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. The two thirds of our people, all the other heathen nations that are out there, especially Esau, the Edomites, all of them are going to be ashamed and all of them are going to be confounded. All right. It says they shall be as nothing. The women, 
the wicked women of the two thirds of our nation. They're going to be as nothing. As the scripture says, they're going to be uh, trodden down as the mire in the streets. <clears throat> to lock you. As the mire in the streets. Esau's not going to be anything. Not, everybody's going to be on the same uh, playing field. All the heathens. But you're going to see the elect men, women, and children. They're going to be over all of that. All right? They're going to have this truth. And it says, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Didn't the scriptures just say a thousand shall fall by thy side and on the on the right hand as well? Thousands are going to fall. They're going to perish. Verse 12, thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. You're gonna see most of the of, of this of these people here. Their life is vain. They are nothing to us. They are nothing. These are just just walking spirits around that's just rebellious and that the uh, uh Salaki, that the uh Yahweh by Shim Yahweh is gonna eventually put them in subjection underneath the elect men. All right. So right now they are nothing. And that's how you need to put that in your mind right now when you see these people uh, start to die off and kill off. Man, they're nothing. They're nothing to us, okay? Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. For I, the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. The Most High, he's saying that he's going to help us, all right? The hopeful elect, he says he's going to help us in the time of our trouble. We're not going to have to see any pestilence come near thy dwelling. We're not going to see any hunger, all right? Famine, thirst, none of that. We're, gonna, we're just going to witness the death and the reward of the wicked, okay? Verse 14, fear not. Thou worm, Jacob. And that's what Jacob is right now. The elect men. We got no military might right now. We got, uh, uh, we, we, we just, we're at the bottom. We're at the bottom right now. We have, we have nothing. Anybody can just step on us and we have nothing. But through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we will be protected. All right. And it reads, fear not, thou worm Jacob. And ye men of Israel, so the elect uh, uh, men, uh, women and children as well, I will help thee. The Most High says he's saying it repeatedly over and over and over. I will help thee. Fear not, uh, uh, Salakia, fear not, thou worm Jacob. He's saying don't fear. These things I said is going to happen because I got to bring the destruction of this uh, of this world in order to bring in my righteousness. But fear not. Keep your faith in me. This is what the Most High is saying. All right. It says, fear not, thou worm Jacob, ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Shai and thy Redeemer, the Holy, the Holy One of Israel. So it's letting you know we will be helped in that day. All right. So don't 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 get all worked up when you see the different things that pops off in the news. When you see they start to uh uh uh. Go with the root uh, instead of the rumors of wars. You start seeing wars when you start seeing the uh, the implement of the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. When you start seeing the race wars, when you start seeing the uh, demonization of the Israelites, you got they're gonna have us all upon the news. The most high is saying through his son, he's saying, Don't fear, all right. He's saying, Don't fear. Fear. He's saying he's going to help us in those troubling times. Okay? 
So always think about these scriptures. Meditate on them. All right. So just know that the Most High is going to help us. OK. In that day. And, and we're coming into some 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 terrible times. And this is the time to really buckle down. All right. So hopefully everyone was edified from off this uh, uh, short lesson. Lord willing. Um, just keep the faith. Keep pushing. Keep striving. And remember, those who endure until the end shall be saved. All right. This is the brother Malachi. Shalom.